exclamation everybody and welcome to shipwreck it is by Schmelly Orc, which uh, has to be one of the top 10 best developer names in all the years that I, I've been doing this stuff. And it's a, uh, well, it's an early alpha, uh, as you can see, alpha 0 0.37, and it's a survival sandbox. Um, you are uh, an alien, I believe. Who has, your, your ship has crash landed on a planet and now you got to uh, re repair your ship and um, you know build some infrastructure and other things. I haven't played any of the game so this is going to be a totally blind playthrough. So without further ado, let us begin. And as you can see there is a seed here on the, on the, on the screen so it is a procedural generated game. So let's do new. And uh, I'll keep it at normal and we'll say 25 billion tiles? <laughs> Question mark. But 384. I think that's 250. Even though it looks like a B. 512 tiles. Yeah, I think that's 250 tiles. So we'll, we'll keep it as a small map for now. All right, let's begin. And I guess I'll put it here. Name my colony. Uh, um, memory colony, I'll just call it for now. Memory colony doesn't exist approved. I wonder if that's... I wonder what that is. Alright, continue. Select the tile to land your damaged ship on. Okay, uh, I guess it doesn't matter where I put it, so I'll just put it here. Your ship crashed and must find a way to repair your ship. Collect wood, stone, and mushrooms and other resources to expand your colony to get further into the game. If you're unsure what to do, put your mouse over it so that the game uses tooltips heavily to show more information, tell us what you think, blah blah blah, all that stuff. Alright. <clears throat> That's a little delightful music here. So... Do I just gather things? What do I... how do I... How do I move? Uh, WASD is just moving the camera. Work. Repair. Remove resource. Build. Alright, so Z. Oh, I see. Okay. Resource to be removed. Uh oh, this is interesting. Repair. Move building. Alright, so I'm guessing what does the research network settings, uh, what does work mean? No building available. Uh, okay. Um, food products, wood, stone. So we have some resources here, so I guess I should build something. Build a small house. That sounds fine. Um, build it over here. And did that did that actually take effect? I assume it did. So production. So how is this? Sure, how that works. All right. Here and move building, move resource, research. What does that do? No research building found. Okay. So build and protection, joy, cherry blossom road, services. Well, a clinic, a police outpost, a tiny laboratory. Cotton farm, rain collector, surface mine. Uh, I I guess uh, I guess I need a carpenter before I can do a house. Maybe maybe by building that there. Okay. So does he then? If I go under jobs, does he then? 
Ah, uh, I see. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, so... We'll put three in there. And maybe they'll build that house for me. Possibly. Um... Get a forester. Them up here, near the forest, maybe? And back to build, and then... Utilities... Cotton farm... Clinic... Bunker... Cherry Blossom... And Road. Do I need roads between... Things here? Yeah. yeah. I think I might have to... Redo this. I think I've... I think I... I did not do it right. Let's, uh, let me, let me start over again and, and, uh, try this again. Like I said, haven't, haven't touched the game at all yet, so I'm not sure when I'm in a, a spot where I can't do anything or, or what have you. I guess I could move buildings, but then, yeah. It wouldn't matter anyway, there's no trees here. Alright, let's, let's try, let's try again. Let's, let's do this. Let's, let's have a little do-over here. Um, and we'll do a new game. And normal, normal... I mean, maybe I should do an easy difficulty instead of normal, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep it at this. 250 tile or 256 tiles. That's a six. Um, alright. Do that. And we'll overwrite the other save. And we'll continue. Okay, so let's put our ship there. And now we can go build a forester here. And we'll build a small house there. And let's get a carpenter, right? I almost forgot the most important thing. A carpenter over here. And we'll get an herbalist there. And a, that's all we can do right now. All right, that's fine. Let's get everybody assigned to where they need to be. So do that, do that. We've got one available, two available. All right, where are these? This is villagers. And robots. Oh, so we can have robots later on if we want them. That's fine. It is fine. Let's get uh, some speed up here. So this should be... Yes, this should be constructing within the area. We've got the tree there. Looks like it's got the bar going down. So I think that might be... Yeah, we're getting... We're collecting wood. Excellent. And looks like bars are going down here too, which is nice. So I can I know that we're doing we're doing good things there. So I wonder, is that the carpenter doing that, or is that just a product of like who is mining out the stone over there? Is my question. All right, let's get a farm going, perhaps. Um. 150 stone for that. Okay, so we gotta wait for that to do its thing. We can also get, I guess, a rain collector would be good too for some agua. Although I thought I saw a, uh, I thought I saw a well. Oh yeah, here a well here. Thomas can drink from the well. It's a clinic. A uh, police outpost and a laboratory. Which is actually relatively cheap. So maybe I should build that. Like over here maybe. And then uh, let's see if I can... It's 150 for that rain... What else do we have here? Surface mine. I don't think I really need right now. Uh, cherry blossom. And what does the cherry blossom do? It just increases the happiness. 
happiness to your colony. Okay. Yeah, our colony's only at 17% happiness right now. <laughs> so, I don't know, should I, should I plant that now? Should I not plant that now? Should I wait? Okay, these are getting mined out good. That's, that's nice, because I can put some, some roads down there. All right, yeah, we're at 15%. We're not all that happy, unfortunately. A cherry blossom there, maybe. See if they're. See if that helps. <laughs> I don't know if it's in the right, the right area for it to help, but you know, you never know. It's within the range of the spaceship. Also, we probably have. We could do research now. I imagine. Uh, where is that at? Services, tiny laboratory. There we go. Get that going. So, research. Whoops, that's not what I want. Um, research is E instead of R. Let's, uh, I guess we'll research a medium house. It seems like the important thing here for more colonists. Um, and then, horticulturalists, what do they do? Plant more trees for harvesting. The trees will take a long time to grow. Okay. Uh, scrapper will harvest ore, metals, or processors from fallen ship chunks. Ah, yeah, got it. Plant more trees for harvesting. Okay. And wheat farm. Got cotton farm. Won't produce food, but will produce fibers to make new clothes for your colony and doesn't require water. And a wheat farm food products this building requires water and then pig and cow farms I got it okay then we got a large laboratory the well is researched already small outposts shoot laser bullets at the enemy ships it requires more workers to maintain the outpost fast shooting ability okay small garden is the next research there a warehouse can I so this is researching can I research Multiple things? It looks like I can. Um, generator. Seems wood to produce power. That's going to be a little while. Agriculture scrapper. Generator small battery. Wheat farm. Should I research the wheat farm? What about the warehouse? Auto harvest farm structures automatically within its pickup range. Ooh, that's nice. But let's get a wheat, wheat farm research going, I guess. And what does that do? Did that stop my, that stopped the research on the medium house, right? Okay. So yeah, you can only research one at a time. That's kind of what I figured, but I think the wheat farm is probably the more important one right now. Make some, make some food and whatnot. We have zero, zero food or zero meat products anyway. Uh, so, we have that cherry blossom tree there, but does not has not improved the mood of the colonists that much, if at all. <laughs> if anything, it went down 3%. Uh, what's, what is this one? Oh, chat, okay. So, I, I, so this is, this does have multiplayer stuff, too, if you want to have multiplayers on there. It looks like, I don't know if it's it's on there now, um, but it looks like they have plans to do that. All right, so farms, services, everything else is good here. Yeah, so, is this almost, no, I, I don't wanna take that down by force, because, being harvested for things um, but the happiness of my colony is suffering greatly and I'm not sure how to fix that right now what is that fiber products food product okay I don't know if that's just a product of not having enough buildings for people to work at or what it is um, did I not make a herbalist Herbalists? 
Yeah, I did make an herbalist. Okay. What else do we have here? Forester Carpenter, Service Mine, Rain Collector, we don't have enough wood for yet. We do have enough for the cotton farm. Let's do that at least to get people working on things. Um, bunker for protection, cherry blossom, road services. Uh, do I need a clinic right now? Clinic can cure a few colonists at a time and requires heal leaves to cure. I don't know if I have any. Uh, maybe doing the well is the good idea. Well, it looks like that takes 160. Again, this, this font is really terrible. I need to get a, a better one here. Um, yeah, maybe 160 stone for that. So maybe I should do a surface mine just so that we have something to help out here with, uh, with that production. I guess I can put it over there. Do, do, do. Music is delightful. <laughs> I'll say that much. It is delightful. So I can turn crime on or off. That's interesting. I think I'll leave that off for now just because I think I got enough. I'm juggling enough things at once here. And. Do, 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 do. So has this research started? Still says zero percent. I'm just researching. Hmm. I don't know how long it takes to do that stuff. But there's no like progress bar to tell me that they're they're researching stuff. So it's hard for me to tell if anything's happening or not. Oh, there was a. There's a ding here. What was that? <laughs> 30 colonists left the colony because lack of joy and entertainment. Uh, okay, well, what does that make my thing look like here now? Uh, I have no foresters and stuff now. Basically, everybody left the colony because of there was no joy. Well... What am I supposed to do about that? Now we're up to 40% joy? 36? I... What am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> I put a freaking cherry blossom down. What the hell else do you bastards want? <laughs> um, alright. Uh, uh, utilities? I mean, I, I guess they want food, right? So... But how do I get food if I can't get enough people to stay here to actually research doing freaking food? <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how that works. Uh, what what's what do you have over here? Colony size seventeen. And I have I have gold to buy stuff with or money to buy stuff with, but who would I even buy from? is my my question there or them working in the mine what about our cotton farm services I got nobody in there let's get the mines going at least I assume the happiness is tied to whether or not they have jobs because a lot of people didn't have jobs on the last one so I assume by keeping them in keeping them busy that, that will keep the happiness up but no the happiness is just dropping like a rock again I don't I don't understand how am I supposed to how am I supposed to get any anywhere here if there's if the happiness won't stick around um, joy let's build another cherry blossom I guess over over here right next to the, the house they can see it <laughs> Maybe they can't see that other one, it's too far away. Boom. 
boom 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 do 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 those guys are working maybe it had something to do with me turning the crime on and off briefly there too I mean that, that could have been it Okay, so the Cherry Blossom is built. Okay, the Happiness just jumped up 4%. So maybe this one was too far away from them. Oh, it's back down again. <laughs> uh, I can't can't win for losing. Okay, but I, you know, the difference between this one and the last one is I had roads. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they're upset about. They don't have roads. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Fortunately, I think some of these roads are going to be out of the building zone here. But maybe just having some of them is enough. Yeah, most of those are out of the building zone. Um, can I put another carpenter down over here? And then we'll just get as many people assigned to it as we can. Has eight people in it. Cotton farm is full. All our production is full. I could get an. I could stand to get another forester, but um, in fact, this. Yeah, well, he's still got that tree there. That's good. Problem is, the other tree is way over there, and I don't know. I mean, I got plenty of 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 wood right now, so that might not be that big a deal. I would like to clear out some of this stuff so I can get this road through here. So maybe I should just do that at the risk of losing those things. Uh, hello? Oh, was that? That was repair, wasn't it? Uh, remove. There we go. those and then we've got the road we can come through here now and I guess I'll have to do that up top here too just so we can get to where we need to get now I would think that having a road there would extend your influence but it doesn't look like it does which is kind of weird otherwise what purpose does the road serve if not to extend the influence of things oh yeah now it's see it's the influence just extended there didn't it so it must be that must be working that way yeah because now I can build up there so okay that see that makes sense to me all right, so then now that I've done that, I can build a, um, what should we do it up there? Another forester up here, All right? And we can hit up that tree. See, this is, this is making sense now. All right, it's just taking me a little while to, to grok it. Uh, let's get everybody a job. Tiny laboratory. Okay, how do I know if the laboratory is actually finished? Or is actually doing anything? Rain collector, what was I... I was looking... Okay, 12%. So, yeah, they need they need some other indication of... Is there like a thing here that tells me what the research is up to? Power, colony size, water, workers, coins... And robots. What about over here? Does this tell me? Food, metals. I mean, everything's turned on, so... Alright. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have a thing that would tell you, Hey, your research is, is progressing. Or not. Um, what I could stand to have is another herbalist, I imagine. Although, oh, I could do the rain collector. Let's do that because we need we need some water in this colony, I think. Uh, and then, uh, do, 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 do. build another one of these guys right there. 
Well, this music is so catchy. <laughs> it's got, you've got me. You've got me in your spell game. So we have heal leaves, 270 heal leaves. So I guess I could put a, uh, uh, a clinic down, which I would imagine would improve the, also get a well eventually once we get to 160, but oh, we need 120. Yeah. I think getting a clinic down might be a good idea. I'm not going to worry about the police outpost because I don't think crime is on. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. Uh, it looks like it's slowly, the world is slowly generating more things as, as my uh, resources and stuff, as my colony expands here. So there we go. So that should be collecting water now. So we have zero of eight. So that should start doing things. Probably should get power at some point. What are we at here? We're at 62%. So I must be doing something right. Putting those roads down apparently was the correct thing to do, or that, or getting everybody a job, which I guess would also be a thing. Um, what else do we have here? Network. Okay. Uh, how am I caught in there? I guess I don't want to. Maybe I should build this road here so I don't accidentally. Put a building there that prevent me from expanding the way that I want to. And then is my stone okay? My stone mine is almost is almost done there. So I'm thinking maybe I should put another one down just for the sake of argument. Some more stone getting produced here. Uh, where the heck is it? Oh, surface mine. There it is. Like I, I know it's around here somewhere. I wonder if these, um, if the position of these mines and stuff affects the happiness. Like if I put them too close to the, to the, the home, if if that's what's, people are like, oh, this is not, this is not cool. I don't want to be right next to a strip mine, kind of thing. Well, these are these are all the questions I have in my in my brain right now. Uh, we also probably need to put workers on that, right? There we go. I suspect it's more a you just need to have everybody have everybody just needs a job, and then based on that determines what you can do here. Now it still says zero of eight on the water. Is that did I not assign anybody to that? I definitely assign people to it. See, I here's my my one piece of feedback right now. It's hard to tell if anything's actually working. You know what I mean? Like I, it's nice that they have the you know these things have just produced stuff. You know, I we've just taken resources out of stuff. But I I'm having a hard time determining if like the you know the water is getting collected because it still says zero of eight. How long does it take for that to get collected? Um, you know, uh, is the, uh, is the cotton being produced? I, I, I it doesn't look like it is cause that's still, the fiber is still zero. Um, you know what I mean? Like, how do I know if anything's actually happening and the research as well? Like, how do I know that that's happening? Like I can look at the research thing and I can see that it's going on, but there's no like visual feedback. Yeah. It's still like 13%. There's no visual feedback of things happening, um, except for the mining of resources. That seems to be the only thing giving us visual feedback. So I think maybe they'll want to improve upon that a little bit. Let's go super speed here and see what happens. Uh, is this that mine is almost done for? We're producing a lot of. Let me slow that down a bit. 
I want to... I want to build... What did I want to build? I want to build a well. Um, where do I want to build it? Put it near the house, I would imagine. So I guess I could put it here, right? No, there's a thing there. Uh, let's remove whatever resource that is. Oop, that's not what I want. Remove that. Done. What? Uh, doesn't seem like it's letting me remove that. I'm just getting a cancel on it. Is it because it's being actively being mined right now? Um, can I just, maybe if I just get rid of this one here, is it not being removed because I don't have anyone available to remove it? Did I use up all my colonists? Cause that's, yeah, I think feedback would be awesome here as to why things aren't happening. How many available? No, I still have four available, so you would think that would still be enough to go fix that. Huh. Uh, well, that just got used up anyway. So let's go and uh, put that down like I want it. Right there. There we go. And looks like that mine is almost depleted. Still had a little bit come out of it though. Like see here, this, this bar is completely empty, so you think nothing else will be coming out of it, but yet we're producing a lot of food, which is very good. Somehow we're producing food. I'm not sure how we are, but we, we are. Okay, that mine just went away now. Okay, good. So with that in mind, I could build another small house there, maybe? Although, I don't know. I've got... I don't have enough... I have enough colonists. Oh, uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to build a clinic. So now I'll take up the last four colonists that I have. So let's put that here. Actually, I have eight now, so... Because I got four back from that other thing. Alright. Let's do that. And then, um... I think, how many does the... How many does that take? That takes four. That's good. I guess having another production center would be nice. And then I'll have to look into getting... Uh, putting another house down, which we have room right here for another house so let's get a let's get another um, research thing down where's that at tiny laboratory let's put you next to the other tiny laboratory we have tiny laboratories all all over the place now the question now is do all them go into the same research pool like if I click research on something, does do both do all the research research laboratories then focus on the one thing, or can I now click on two things and have one focus on one thing and the other focus on the other? I imagine, given the simplistic way they're going at this, that it would be the former, right? It's like you just every every research lab just works on the one thing combined, and building more research labs just make it just makes that go faster, maybe. I would think, as I screw with my chair handle here, sorry, <laughs> my chair armrest. Um, yeah, all right, well, we'll see once this is built fully. So, do, 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 do. there we go. 
We got 12 out of 16. We're not we're not at full capacity yet, but we've done what we can with what we have. We're at 68% happiness. So then, did that improve the amount of the, the speed of which we're doing our research? Uh, 26%, maybe? Maybe it has? Not sure. Let's build another house, another small house, right there. Do that should give us some more workers to work on our little tiny colony here. Tiny alien colony. Did I build... The, I did build the well, but I don't see this water going up at all. It still says 0 of 8. So I'm not sure what to make of that. And also the rain. You would think I'd be getting something from either one of those things, but not appear to be the case. So I don't know what's going on there. Doom, doom, doom. I guess that's my my biggest piece of feedback, right? Is that it's hard to know what's actually going on. I'm kind of, I'm kind of putting it on faith here that my villagers are doing stuff, but I can't really, I can't really tell what's being done and and at what speed it's being done, right? I don't have a good sense of how long it's going to take to, to do certain things and and all that stuff. Maybe if they, like you've got the time up here and date. So maybe if when I was researching something, it would say estimated, like an estimated completion time is summer four or soul two or whatever. And then at least I would know I'd have some point of reference as to how long it's going to take based on the current people, you know, that, that seems like, Probably the, the a good quality of life thing is just to be able to know like stuff's actually happening. It's just going at a, a at a very glacial pace. You just can't really see it. But if I if they put like a timestamp on something and be like, this is when we think this will be completed, this research or whatever, that would at least give you some kind of feedback that things are going well. Uh, we're at sixty five percent still on the happiness scale. And I don't know. I assume everything's going well here. Um, we have oh, so this forester here is not really any use to us because he's out of range of this of this tree. So if I could get where can I put him? Because he's got a very limited range. Ah, uh, see, so you know what? I put this house in the wrong thing. But we can move things. Let's do this. Let's move this guy. Let's see if we can move those. Put the grass tile to move this building. Um, the forester over here. Small house. Small house right there. Okay. So I, I did it. I moved it. Let's uh why does it have two here? Oh it duplicated oh <laughs> it duplicated my houses. Okay, that's a that's a little bit of a bug. It duplicated my house, which is not when I tried to move I was just trying to swap these two buildings. To make the this guy closer to the tree, um, and it duplicated my building. Right there, it's like the buildings to move. Oh, it requires 15 to move it now. So that's what the gold was was requiring. Well, now that's kind of screwy, isn't it? Now I'm gonna have way more villagers than I really want. But let's. Build a uh, forester here, and then I'll just I'll just demolish this other one, right? Uh, which I assume we could do by doing this. No, can I not? How do I? 
I want to demolish a building. I thought I saw something here it's like get rid of. Repair. Oh, here it is. Deconstruct. Deconstruct that one. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, their movement's not quite working right. <laughs> now I have another house, I think, although I haven't seen too much of a hit here as far as villagers go. Um, all right, and then this... Yeah, but that tree is still out of range of it, isn't it? <laughs> well, shucks. I did all that, and that tree is still out of range. I guess we'll have to... Uh, I guess we'll have to build again here. Uh, Forester. Right there. I think... Uh, so another piece of feedback, I think they're going to need to... When you actually build one of these things, they're going to need to show you based on what tile you're building on, how large an area is going to be serviced by the forester. Um, otherwise, you end up doing what I just did there, putting it down, thinking, oh, that's going to be close enough, and then realizing that it's not. Sure, we got everybody with a job that we can. Right in the laboratories, clinic is there. All right, so that gives me a little more room for things, a little more elbow room, I'd say. Um, how is our research coming about? Because it would be really nice if we had that farm done. 36. Okay, I just saw it go up. So hopefully it's we'll be getting done that soonish. Uh let's see. What else can we do? I mean I got a limited number of buildings we can work with here. I could do another surface mine, but I think we got plenty of stone at the point at this point. Do another cotton farm, although that other farm is not increasing our Doesn't require water. Five. Oh, you know what? I bet I know what's going on. So, let me think here. Bunker. Joy. Let's just put a cherry blossom down for now. I bet I know what's going on. This zero of eight must mean how many buildings I can do that require water, I bet. That must be it. So, I am. There is water available. It's there's enough water available for eight buildings that need water or something like that. I that must be what's that must be what that means. Okay, I think I I think I understand. I think I understand the way that's going. Um are these being like I see these giant mushrooms here and I'm like, clearly my horticulturists will be taking care of those, but well, this this these are going down, but I don't see these larger Mushrooms getting uh, getting harvested, so I don't know what I don't know what's up with that. Are they actually doing work, or are they, or does that need the upgraded horticulturist in order to do the the large mushrooms? That's, can I? I guess I don't have the gold to move this guy. Um, it's weird that you have to spend gold to move it. Especially early on, like that was a lot of gold to move those things around. Because it, it just always it seems to make more sense to just build another one and say heck with it. Especially when you got all the all these workers here. Um, herbalist. So what do you well, harvest? Mushrooms or heal leaf? Yeah. Fiber products, stone, wood. Why can't I build another one? Because I have too many. Have I run into a s missing a few resources? Oh, it takes it takes twenty-five fiber product to do that. Oh, oh, 
I see. So that explains why the farm this produces five. So the farm is producing fibers, but the herbalists are using it. Oh, see, I, hmm. I didn't know that that was an ongoing cost. I thought that was just a once one cost, like a one-time cost, but apparently it's an ongoing one, it looks like. Or maybe I'm just, because I should be producing fiber product and I'm not, so clearly something has an ongoing cost going on here. Unless it's not, I mean, how do I know? Oh, I had to click on it. Oh, that doesn't make, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I say. All right. Well, that does not. I see what they're doing there because they want you to automate that, automate the farms. And I did see that warehouse thing that's like, well, automatically harvest your things, but I didn't put two and two together that I had to actually click on that to have it harvested. Okay. All right. So that explains. So there's not an ongoing cost, it's just that I'm not clicking when I'm supposed to be clicking. Alright. Is there anything else I'm supposed to click on to... <clears throat> like a... Click on the... Click on these mushrooms to make them harvest? <laughs> click on the water? Or the well or anything? Oh, the well's got a... Okay, the water barrels don't have it, but the well has a... Area of effect. Uh... I didn't notice that. See, this is another thing. This is why you really should put this so that you can tell if something has an area of effect or not. Um, so if I put the well in the middle, then it should actually do some good, right? In theory. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Which then means I could go build this road here and try to expand ourselves a little bit. Which is good. Let's do that. And click on that. Alright, and then that warehouse. Was that something I had to research? I think that was something I had to research. Bump, 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 bump. We're 55% into wheat farm. Um... Generator. Wood to produce power. Uh, medium house, large apartment. We're culturalists. Warehouse. I just have to tell it to research. So if I click on this, is it going to stop the research? Any other? Am I going to lose the research that I already put into the other thing? Let's see. Let me test this. No, it's still at 55%, but now it says research. Okay, so it's only researching one thing at a time, but it looks like it keeps what you did research. So that's good. But they didn't penalize you that much for it. All right, and then I did all this because I wanted to build that herbalist up here. And I need to make sure everybody's got some kind of job. Or as many people have a job as can have one. All right, clinic. So does the clinic have a area of effect too? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So the well is got all that in its influence. And I think the happiness went up for that. I'm not sure. All right. So far, so good there. Um, is there, is this other thing, yeah, see this other thing is out of range of all the, <laughs> of all these guys. Um, I guess we'll have to build another one of those. A carpenter up here, which just gives us some more jobs anyway, so sure thing. Alright, 
I think I, I think I'm getting the uh, the hang of this. I think I, I see where they're going with it. It is uh, quite the uh, it, it is quite slow. <clears throat> Although I, I you know I am running at two speed and not three. I guess if I hit three speed, it'll be a lot faster in that regard. Uh, but okay. Yeah, like I said, I, I think I, I see where they're going with this, and then we can have robots and stuff eventually once we once we research it. I think the, the slow part, I think, is really the research. That might be something they want to speed up at some point here. I mean, I could put some more research facilities down, but I don't know that it's going to speed it up by that much. I mean, I could try it. Let's see what... Utilities, services, tiny laboratory, like right there. And just get more, more people into the research thing. 2024, there we go. And then how does that affect the research here? Can I actually see it going up? Where's that warehouse? 4%, 5%. Okay, now I can actually see it, see the percentage going up. All right, so that's, that's a, that's something to at least be able to speed up there. So it looks like there's an optimal way to kind of hedge your bets here a bit. That guy's still in range of things. This guy, see, and that's, I don't know if these guys are actually taking these big mushrooms down or not because I don't see the bar going down on them. Like I see these things getting mined, like the smaller ones, definitely getting mined. I don't see the larger mushrooms, so I don't know if that requires the upgraded herbalists. And if so, does it behoove me to actually, you know, destroy this building? Or should I just leave it running even though the workers aren't really actively doing stuff? You know what I mean? But they're still active and they're not idle, so... And I, I don't... I'm, I'm wondering how that, how that whole thing works now. Oh, of course, this other one's out of the range of my <laughs> of my buildings here. Uh, let's uh, X on that guy, and then we'll do the where's that tiny laboratory over here? Oh, over here, so it actually gets built. That'd be good. And let's make sure everybody's assigned to it that can be. So did it actually, like I'm still seeing to be capped at 50 colony size. So I'm wondering if, uh, I know the second house I put down is working, but I'm wondering if this other house is now a, a red herring. It's not actually a house that's producing colonists. Don't know. I do not know. So now, how's our how's our research looking? Now that I've done that, we're starting to go through it a lot faster. Okay, so I see what they're doing here. All right, all right. I think we're I think we're good for for the moment with this, my friends. Um, let's uh, let's save and go back to the menu. I think it's automatically saving along the way here. Well, let's save and go back to the to the main menu. And uh, this, my friends, has been a Shipwreck. It is by Schmelly Orc. Had to go look it up again, sorry for that. I, I don't know why I forgot that. I already gave it a praise for being a great name. Uh, and it is Shipwreck. It is in early alpha right now, 0 0.37. Uh, I believe that they might be on Steam. I'm not entirely sure. This is, I'm using the itch.io uh, version right now to, to get into the alpha and stuff. Uh, so I will leave, as always, links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence and uh, find the game and all that stuff. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.